Welcome. Today Richard learns Mythwin's Crafter. The crafter's goal is to make things, bringing their artisanship and skill to the soon-to-be burgeoning town. The crafter bolsters their reputation by creating and perfecting the goods they make and selling them to the townsfolk for a profit. The quality of the crafter's goods and the speed of their production will grow alongside the town. To set up, place the crafter header into the tray, then place the reputation dials in the tray to match the board colors. The left side of each dial should say 1, and the right side should have an arrow pointing to 5 coins. Next place the crafter board on top of that, as well as placing the other two crafter boards. When that's done, you will see the 1 and 5 coin in each slot. Next, set the skill tokens so they're face up by the board with the level number face up. Place your crafter mini by the tray, take 10 coins from the main supply, and place that by the tray. The crafter uses five types of materials, canvas, leather, cedar, birch, and paper. Next, choose two random materials and place them in refinement slot one. Next, place one of each material into the draw bag. Then place the remaining materials next to the tray. Next, split up the request cards according to the number of sprites on the back. So we have zero, two, four, six, eight. For our first game, take the cards with no sprites on it, shuffle that together, place that stack near the tray, flip over the top card face up, and place that near the tray as well. Set the remaining cards aside, they will not be used this first game. During the dawn phase, the crafter has no unique step. So let's move on to taking our character action after taking our town action. The crafter's first action is to either restock or sell. Which material the crafter can choose to restock or sell will depend on where she aligned according to her town action. So if she aligned with sprites, she can choose birch, paper, and canvas. And if she aligned with villagers, she can choose cedar, leather, or canvas. So if restocking, if she were aligned with a sprite, she would be able to choose a birch and place that into her bag. And of course, if she was selling, she could sell the birch and not the leather. If the crafter is able to sell something from the first slot, the crafter places another request card face up in their play area. If the crafter has no more cards, they ignore this action. When resolving the action of slot 2, refine, you do not need to remove a material to perform the action, which is how the normal refine material step is performed, which I will get to in a bit. Instead, take an item and move it up one space along the refinement track, whether on the refinement track or in the inventory. Items in the fifth slot cannot move any further. If there are no items to move, don't move any items. Slot three is gather. To resolve this, draw one random item from the bag and place it in inventory. If the bag has no materials, ignore this action. To resolve the action of the fourth slot, Take one material from a refinement slot and place it back in the bag. Then the crafter gains the number of coins and performs the action shown by that slot as well. When selling from refinement slot 5, the crafter can discard one or more fulfilled request cards to increase their reputation. How requests get fulfilled will be explained at dusk. And discarding a number of request cards increases a goods reputation by one. We can see in this example, we need one hammer card to increase our reputation. And we would need two scrolls to increase this reputation. To adjust a dial, remove the crafter board, then take the dial and rotate it counterclockwise to the next highest number. So it was at 1.5, now it's at 1.6. When the dial has increased, replace the crafter board. Shuffle completed request cards back into the request deck. After doing our restock or sell materials action, we can resolve skill. And a skill can be resolved if it's in the same row of what we restocked or sold. For a crafter to gain a skill, they must use a certain combination of materials at a certain refinement level. So to gain this any materials skill, they would need to pay one paper at a level three refinement, one birch at a level two refinement, and a canvas at a level one refinement. 
And note that these are minimums, so if you have higher level materials, you can use those. Materials used to pay for the skill are placed in the supply, not the draw bag. And of course, to gain higher level skills, one of the two sprites depicted at the top of the skill must be in play. When a character gains a skill, they can rearrange their skills as they choose. Now let's go over the skills. There's productive. Draw one random material from the draw bag and place it in the inventory slot in the workshop. More experience. Add one material of any type to the draw bag. Working fast. Move any material in the workshop to the next highest refinement slot, including from the inventory slot to refinement slot one. Loyalty. Spend one coin to increase a hired worker in your character tray. Always open. Sell one material from the workshop. Good marketing. Spend one material from a refinement slot, including the inventory slot, to draw one request card. Multifaceted. Spend one coin to swap the positions of any two materials in the workshop. Worker encouragement. Spend five coins to increase all hired workers in your character tray. Sloppy work. Decrease any goods reputation level by one. Immediately gain that goods premium reward. And double time. Move any material in the workshop up to two refinement slots higher. After performing the optional resolve skill, the crafter gathers materials. And that means to choose three random materials from the bag and place them in their inventory. There is no limit to how much can be in the inventory. The next step is to refine materials. To resolve this, the crafter must choose to begin or advance. To begin, Simply take one of the items from the inventory and move it to slot one. The maximum amount that can be in a refinement slot is four materials. If they choose to advance, they remove a material from the inventory slot, place it back in the bag, then choose a material of the same material they just removed and moved that up one spot to the next refinement spot. After refined materials comes the perform worker actions. And the crafter has seven spots on their board where they can take their actions. Of course, the blue spots require a sprite die and the orange spots require villager die. And the crafter can use any number of dice to do their actions. Remembering to lower the pip count on the dice by one. And of course, the workers will sell or restock as well as a gather or refine. During dusk, after the return of the workers, the crafter can fulfill requests. During this step, the crafter can only resolve one request. Each request card shows what material is needed, as well as the minimum refinement needed. So in this case, we'll take the level one cedar, level two birch, and because it's above two, the level three birch to complete the card. Used resources go back in the supply, not in the draw bag. Then the crafter gets the reward for completing the request. And in this case, the crafter gets two coins, plus the reputation benefit, which in this case is six more coins, plus the ability to gather another material. Then the fulfilled request card goes in their play area, where it can then be used to increase reputation. For the end of a season, after changing the season tile, the crafter must separate all request cards according to the amount of sprites on the back of the card. So in later rounds, you may have other sprite cards. And this includes any unfulfilled request cards as well. Next, count the amount of sprite dice you, the board, and other players have. Then take the request cards that have that number or lower and add it to your requests. So in this case, if one more sprite die were in play, we would add the fours as well. But let's just continue this example. So take all the request cards that will be in play, shuffle that together, and then count how many villager dice there are on yours, the main board, and other players' trays. And draw that many cards to await fulfillment. To save the crafter's progress, Return the draw bag and miniature to the main box. Remove the crafter header from the tray. Place the coins and extra materials into the tray. Stack all the request cards as a single deck back into the tray. 
but place any fulfilled requests face up and replace the crafter header. Remove the left crafter board, place the unused skills in the tray, replace the board. Remove the middle crafter board and lay down any materials that may be in those slots. Replace the crafter board. Remember, if you'll continue playing with the crafter, keep your dice, but if not, then remove it and place the lid on top. When you're ready to play as the crafter again, do all that in reverse. To create a new request deck, follow the steps for the character upkeep at the end of season. Thank you for joining me as I learn the crafter. I invite you to join me as I continue on to part two of my playthrough. And welcome back to Mythwind. So today I am going to continue my playthrough of Mythwind, um, but today I will be playing as the crafter instead of the farmer. So we can see where, how the we can see the condition that the farmer left Mythwind, the Mythwind Valley in. Um, so some stuff has been done. I've never played. The crafter before i've never played mythwind before when i played the farmer on camera was my first time ever so the same thing here um, on camera is my first time ever playing the crafter um, mistakes and all that's uh, this is my playthrough so uh how it is is how it is so i don't want to make mistakes but you know they're gonna happen so anyway so yeah we have our binny here we have our couple of dice i re-rolled them we have one villager and three sprites um, uh, the uh, materials I chose were the two extremes. I decided to go for the two extremes, as in one sprite and one villager um, material is what uh, I put in here. We have our five other materials in there. I don't know if you can see that too good, but there are five in there. Um, initially, there were four. I had to recount. And yeah, there, there's five there now. So here is the first request that... Um, I drew after choose. I went in order of the rule book, so that's why I have materials first before even knowing what I have, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, like I say, this is my playthrough, so. Um, uh, so we're gonna. Oh, okay. So we're gonna need a couple of. Is that leather? Anyways, yeah, we're gonna need a couple of cedar, a couple of cedars in slot one. Uh, slot two and a window in slot one. So hey, we even have one already. So this one would just need to come here, and we would need a uh, those uh, two more to be able to to finish this request, to be able to get rewards and increase our repu reputation. So and I do have every, have everything set for to one and five coins. So that's that. Our buildings. I have already preset because I do remember that we're going to need a couple of income, uh, a production, and a food to build the building we want to do. And I, I figure I'm just I'll just get to that right away and then get on with it because yes, I'm playing the crafter, but I'm also trying to develop a valley as well. So I will uh, honor what the uh, farmer started, continuing on, and then get to the crafting uh, part. So. Let's start, right? Oh, here is our summertime. So we're looking for some suns and maybe a little bit of rain and, and, and a bit of cloud. Um, we don't want it to be too sunny, though. Uh, anyways, so that's where we're at. Anyways, we have a weather card drawn. Those were shuffled. I don't remember if I shuffled the weather cards on camera or not, but anyways, they were shuffled. Oh. Before I flip this, let us remind ourselves that each character must go on one adventure, which seems doable. Um, if I'm not, I, I don't know what to especially be invested in. Like I say, you're watching me play this for the first time. So what is our first weather card? Hey, oh, we get a sun, but there is no um, uh, event. Um, I, I probably could have missed an event last time. I don't know. Anyways, okay, so we don't have any weather effects. We don't have to worry about that. So now we just go to the daytime. And like I said, yes, I'm playing the crafter, but the farmer set things up 
that the that I said the crafter will do. So let's get that out of the way right now. So we want to get a building built. So let's go to the building a building spot. So that means in a one player game or two player game, we're going to need to spend two. One, two, income. We're going to need to spend one production and one food. So we got one production and one food. And we're back to one. So now this goes in the Q spot under the one. So none of this happens until it is built, but there even is a space for it. So that's cool. So we're going to put this in our Q spot number one. If we build, if we were to build another building and it had to go on number one, we would just put it underneath. First come, first serve. So it would just go like that. Of course, if something, uh, if a card said put it in spot four, it would go in spot four, and every time it moved up one, boom, it'd move up to three, even if it was empty above it. Um, uh, so uh, that's that. Nicely done, crafter. So now the crafter has quite the plethora of actions she can do. So let's see, this was a villager. So you're gonna align with the villager. So we're gonna be dealing with the villager. Oh, okay, things are working out. Okay, sometimes things just work out and that's nice. So we have that. So if we move our cedar up one, it will be in two. So I think that's what we should do. Yeah, there's no way I'm uh, selling stuff right now. So uh, let's... Well, like I said, we do need a second one. So yes, I am going to say that's what I'm going to choose. I'm not selling anything. So I'm going to hope that now that I've doubled the amount, now that there's six um, materials in here and two of them are the cedar and then one of everything else, hopefully when I draw a item, that's what it'll be. I don't have any skills. So now I just skip ahead to gather materials so gather materials that's your this one so draws three materials from the bag well i don't know how shaken up these are whatever so i want i do want i do want one two three yeah one two three one yes okay we got one oh we got one of a few things okay so one in fact i'm gonna put these back here so I want to get this having a move on and paper will be something that I want as well. But I did not draw paper. No. Okay. Okay. All right. So I can begin. That's taking from an inventory, move out or advance. Obviously, if it, there's already one in the track, move it along. So I am going to need two of the cedars in level two. So either way, this is going to have to come down and this is going to have to go. So let's get let's get this down to business then. Okay, so that's my one. I don't have any workers like uh, the dice. I don't have any dice. And look at that. So I think I'm just going to go hard on trying to get this. Hopefully I can do this while also being able to go on an adventure um, because we're already at dusk. Do, do all the things I said, but we just started, so there isn't much we can do, which is normal, which is expected. So let's draw that, and let's get to dusk. And dusk would be when we, you know, take the materials and say, okay, this card is now done. Like, I've been tapping cards, like when I was doing the rule videos, I was tapping it just to differentiate that it's uh, ready. Um, I don't know what other people are doing. There's no example in the book of, hey, just be sure to do this. I like tapping, so that's what I was doing. But we, of course, are not yet at the point where we have a paper or two uh, level two cedars. So uh, that's that. Wow, so playing this was way easier than uh, trying to make a rules video for it. So I, I appreciate that. So day two, let's uh, draw our second weather card. Oh, it's a rain and we do not have a sun and rain up in there, so we're not gonna have to worry immediately, but we do pull an event card. Um, I do feel like I accidentally skipped an event, but uh, on my last playthrough that is, but like I say, this this is my playthrough, so 
uh, here's where I am. It's just uh, all a part of my own uh, Mythwind story. So let's actually look at the event card. So right beside the weather card, there is the event card, and it is card number four. And let me see what this is. Wood Golems. Tracking down the wood golems is tricky in the dense forest. It takes nearly all day to find them. Your group doesn't feel welcome as they get right to the point. We got no love for damaging the forest. Once you reassure them that... Oh, that was me. Once you reassure them that you will replant and avoid clear-cutting areas, they begrudgingly accept you, although it's hard to be sure. If you have a lumber yard, I do not. Otherwise, uh, shuffle event 47. Could summon a lumber yard already? Okay, anyways. Um, uh, shuffle in event 47. So, uh, Right below my tripod here, I'm just going to 37, 47, and put in 47. Take the event cards, of which we have several, and we also need to remember that we're uh, trying to resolve 4 through 7. This one being 4, so we add it there, and where this is, 5. Oh. So four, five, and then we're still waiting for six and seven to come out to eventually do event eight. Cool. Anyway, so shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, that was terrible. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle. <laughs> it's not like I'm too tired or anything. It's two in the afternoon. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Stopping at seven. Hey, okay. So those who know what seven is, that will be my next one. Okay, so there's no weather events. So what, ooh, that is actually a good question. Okay, now that you are no longer walking in someone else's footsteps to, to complete their work, what kind of work would you like to complete? Well, let's look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. I have paper. That's what this window looking thing is. It's actually paper. Paper is a, um, Wow, I want to say fairy. Uh, paper is sprites, and I want to draw paper. I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to sell anything right now. Uh, two, three. And it would be nice to get stuff down here. I'll see the reality of what happens. Um, but I would like to get stuff down there. Putting in paper, I mean, you're going to need stuff. I don't know what the next request card is. You know what? Let's just say I'm going to need a paper. Let's uh, put in a paper. Let's, even though there's only, I'm, I'm, I guarantee I'm going to draw it anyways. You know what? Let's, let's, let's see. It just occurred to me to also think about skills. So the, so you will need materials at Oops, at certain levels. So think about that too. The farmer also got a skill last time. Um, so yeah, do think about that too. You know what? I'm just going to blindly say, I want paper to fulfill that. So let's add more paper. Maybe that'll help out here. And therefore paper is a sprite. And we need to go on. Oh, as I say, we get, need to go on an adventure, and it's one of uh, it has both symbols on it: the sprites and the villagers. But the adventure might say, if you make this choice, you'll be a sprite. You know what? Go on an adventure, and boom! Yes, I indeed went on an adventure. So, I'm gonna draw the top card. Sunken cave. Lounging by the seaside, you spot a grotto partially submerged in the tide. Ooh. Exploring it, you see a scattered pile of goods. Looks like someone's pack washed up here. There's also a submerged tunnel nearby. You could swim it, but the tide is rising. Search the goods. Leave with your findings before the tide comes. Push your luck. Swim into the submerged tunnel. Oh. I'm thinking video games. You see a waterfall. A lot of the times there's nothing, but when there's something, it's good. I have to. B. B is what I'm going with. B. 
You can surface into periodic air pockets to breathe, but the tunnel's longer than it looked and you're forced to turn back. Upon your return, you see the tide has washed the pile of goods away. You find some goodies and escape well ahead of the tide, gain three. Oh, yeah, see, villager anyway. Okay. That sure was well worth it. What an exciting, exciting things are happening. Okay, well, so villager means I will not be doing a paper. So I have a couple cedars. So I could go leather or the other one. Canvas. So I already have a couple. All right, I'll go leather. And that is my restock. I'm not selling anything right now. I don't have skills right now. And gather materials. I now no longer guarantee that I will pull a uh, what do I want, paper. Oh, but I do anyway. Okay. Naturally, I'm happy about that. There we go. Now to refine, I might as well, what needs more levels, I might as well just do that first. So that's going to go there. Okay. So now that I've had a couple of turns, I am seeing that perhaps I should hire uh, workers now. Um, I could, I'm also thinking I could maybe do some of this here. Perhaps the next person would want to build uh, what's my production? 10. Um, culture. After the general store is built. Oh, just look for general store. We can build a monument. General store. One of each. Ooh. Post office. One of each. Hmm. That's not bad. Get anything? What's the what's the action? Okay. I take this to mean at the end of a season, just add a gold token. So if you had, you know, everyone has to do a thing, and only two out of three players did it. Just add it, and now you have three gold tokens. That's what I'm currently thinking that probably means. And that would actually be pretty good. Because then I wouldn't have to go out of my way to, to, to be doing stuff. Longhouse, general store. General store for the tavern. I'd put down a villager die and pay for it to increase production by one. If this was, I would have to pay 10 otherwise. See, these, these buildings are actually good, especially when you're uh, at, so let's see, culture is cheaper for this one. Um, uh, food was five for the farmer, culture is five for the crafter. The other ones are at tens and fifteen. These are good to build. I, hmm, I really should get thinking about building these as well. I know this is riveting stuff. I know. Okay. Two coins replace. Uh, pay a th two coins, pay a thing to increase a thing. That's the tavern. That's that. And same thing, but for culture. Okay. In order to build these, which I like, I should build the tavern. Wait, to build the general store, which is built or be uh, in the process of being built. 
Okay. I mean, really, these are all good. Okay. Wow. Three foods. Three productions. No culture, though. What do you think? What do you think? Do you be selfish and just start hiring workers? Okay, unless I change my mind in the next minute or two, I'm going to hire a worker for my next action. No requests uh, done, so let's continue on. And first, the weather card. First crafter with the weather. Rain! Sun, rain, rain. There is no sun, rain, rain. Okay. There's no sun, rain, rain in this in the uh, the crafter summer. Okay, so yeah, might as well then hire. So five just goes there. I will take yeah both. One two. Villagers at one. Sprites at three. Okay, so restock or sell. Well, I'm thinking restock. So keep the. So I have what? So I have a um, couple of leathers there. Really, it's all about one. And I'm not even concerned about what it is. Let's fulfill the request. So that's done. And then maybe work on getting a then, then work on getting a skill. I have to prioritize this, then work on getting a skill. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. But what skill? Move this paper ahead. Three. Okay. Uh, don't worry about the working fast. Just do where. what's three. So I need to do it. So I have so those ones. And I would need. I didn't do the paper, I did works. I have that, that, and a green. Indeed, I do. So, okay. Another one there. Okay. So, I think I'm going to work on productive. So, I already have stuff there. So, if I work on productive, that'll let me. Do another one of those actions. That's cool. Uh, when I have it as a skill. Or really, I could just add another one of these. Move it up. So I'll do that. So that'll be my restock. And then... So I apparently align with sprites. Okay. There's no skills, so we're going to gather materials. And I feel that there's only two left in the bag. So these are the two that are going into here. We're getting uh, full of materials, crafter. So now we're fine. Um, so I could either bring something here to resolve this, or I could just bring this down, and then we have two. So that means I do not want this one covered up. Oh, well, there's two. I want one of those covered up so I can just move it there and hey, wouldn't that be good? So I'm going to use the sprite die, lower it by two, put it in the refine, and this is enough. That's all I need for this. And I'm going to move this one up. So let's. And the, each slot can only hold four, and there's only three in there. So that's fine. So if I continue, hopefully, moving something, anything up more and more right now, this birch. Wait, is that birch or cedar? Uh, this wood. Um, hopefully I can eventually get it, or maybe I'll end up using it later. We'll, we'll see what happens. And I actually haven't even asked if you have to use your, your uh, dice, so I'm just going to say no. If that's wrong, oh well, it's the mistake is part of my playthrough. So I'm just going to go ahead, and I realized I made a mistake. What I actually want to do is... Put this one here, and boom, done. 
uh, the request will be done. And what I mean is, let's come back to our workshop and fulfill requests. So we need two uh, from level two and one from level one. This card is now completed. It's not yet removed, but we we have it. Now we now we wait for now we wait for pickup, let's say. Thematically, we're waiting for that to get picked up now that it's done. These just go back in their piles, not in the bag. Ah, oh, so I was not quite right about my understanding. So if this is fulfilled, so we get the stuff. And then there's an action where we can, after we got all rewards and all our stuff, we finally get something down here. Then we can get rid of the card slash shuffle it back into our requests um, to increase reputation some more. And we get to have this increase uh, reputation as it is. So let's gain our reward. So we get two. It's a lot easier to get, so far, a lot easier to get money for stuff, at least early game, uh, than it was for the farmer. This is going to be at five, five. There. Plus, increase reputation by one. Well, isn't that lovely? So let's do that. So we're at one dash five. Counterclockwise, one dash six. So now we get six coins every time we get this for this. Okay, so this is done. Um, they don't go back in right away. We have to do an action to get them back in. I was going to say right away to get them back in. Okay, so we have some money to do some stuff. Where are we at? Th day three days. So we need to. We still need to do this stuff. Well, let's continue on to the next day. So day next one. Oh, we got an event. And there is no rain, rain, cloudy for our weather. So let's uh, just hop to the next event, which is seven. Event. Rock golems. Rock golems are rumored to live in caves and ravines. Strange rock formations are indication that rock golems have been at work. While, explore, while exploring the hills, rock golems appear behind your group. They wordlessly watch you build rock cairns, observing how you work together as a team. If the current value of all the sprites are greater than the villagers, indeed it is, shuffle an event 53. It will be done. Anyways, let's do 53, 50, 2, 3. Okay, so event 53, and it says shuffle it in, right? So let's go ahead and literally shuffle. And set that aside. Actually, if you're interested, how it shuffled out the top card is 49. When you have resolved events 4 to 7, shuffle an event 8. So this is 7. So we have five, 4, 5, 7. So we're waiting for event 6. Also, oh, there was one more instruction. Shuffle adventures 11 through 20 into the adventure deck. So let's get... Oh, and 11 through 20. Just make sure that's correct. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, let's adventure deck. And ooh, ah, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle the event. I mean, adventure deck, which is different than the event deck. Okay. Oh, ah, flying everywhere. All right, good. Oh, and I didn't put these back, so let's do that. Okay, now let's go. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, what even is there to do? Maybe I can 
focus on buildings, maybe? Because it's pretty impossible to finish buildings. I've, I've not come across anything that says go ahead, do it, except in the, the spring. Putting in more buildings. I probably would want more money to be able to do that. Because like I, maybe I could increase dice, but no, you need to have the building to increase dice. Maybe I risk going on another adventure then, maybe? From the top of the valley, people have been able to see the ocean nearby. No one has established an easily traversed path, but on the, this hike, you can hear rushing water and taste salt in the air. Making careful note of landmarks, you find your way to a protected bay. It is connected to the ocean and also fed by a waterfall. The sea life here is vibrant. That's nice. When you return to town and tell of this idyllic spot, someone offers to build a wharf there. Ooh, add fishing grounds to the construction queue. Okay, yeah. Fishing grounds. Uh, fishing grounds. And you need to have the adventure card to place it. Ooh, and you can get another die. Okay. Because it's supposed to go in slot one, but it's occupied, it's going into slot two. So, okay. That, that, that was fairly worth worth it. Um, don't know how to get them onto the board, but it's in the queue. So, okay, that's something. Okay, so we have this here. Well, of course, I'm going to restock. Um, do you want productive or more experience? The other or uh, that one? Any material. Yeah. Any material. Okay, so that's a place of material into the bag. As opposed to taking it out of the bag. Okay. I have that action, so I might as well go for that one then. Okay, so I have this. So what I want to do is restock or sell. I'm obviously I'm not selling anything. Um, this is the one I want, right? Sure, let's 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 go for that one. Sure, let's restock that. I know it's there, but you know. Oh, uh, you're right. I have to do a villager, villager one. Okay, so it's not that one. Sorry. It's not that one. It has to be a villager one. So what I'm missing... Well, not missing anything. I think they're all there. Also, I'll do a canvas. Cool. Okay. No. And by that, I mean put it in the bag where there's only one thing in it. I don't have skills, so now I skip to the part where I take three things out of the bag. If you're wanting me to do it properly. There you go. Okay, so we're fine. So if I'm going for this one, I put stuff in here or move it down. So I will do this one. Oh, I do have a paper. Okay, good. So I'm going to use this, a sprite to also move it to there. So that's my refine for the sprite. And I don't know if I have to use the villager. I don't actually know if I have to, but um, I'm gonna this turn. I'll act like I'm supposed to. Um, maybe uh, throw in another paper. So I'll just throw that in there then. Oh no, that's wrong. Also, it's got to be something from down here. This is take stuff out of the bag. We established there's nothing in the bag. Uh, it can't be so. 
Um, can't be that one. So I'll just do a canvas then. The th if I had if I had a fourth thing in here, I would probably want to do that to gain another request card to give me more focus. Um, but for now, I'll have these trying to get me the more experience. Okay. So maybe I'll put another one there, maybe sell that next time. Okay. So now we're at dusk. Nothing to fulfill. This goes back. Three. And that goes back. Okay. Next day. Sunny. Do we have rain cloud? Oh, nope. The opposite. Well, sort of the opposite. We have cloud rain sun, but not rain cloud sun. Um, oh, move, move, move our stuff up one. Move our stuff up one. Oh. Ah, now we get the thing. Ooh, move up food or culture one and gain another sprite. Yes. Yes. Two. Yes. Oh, and move this one up one. Okay. Now. Food or culture. What do I want? Looks like food. Of the two, it looks like food. Okay, that is what I will do then. Okay, so food is going up one. Boom. Okay. And I already did the die. So now we have a die there. We have a die there. Nice. Okay. And we can put in that spot. And every time ooh, we spend three... We can do, ooh, we can do another action off. Oh, we want to do more refining actions. Nice. Well, I think that was well worth it. We can do more. Excellent. What I think I should do <laughs> is clear some land just in case we get another uh, thing that lets us uh, build that, what is that? Fishing grounds. It lines me with villagers. You got to do what you got to do. Okay. I'm clearing a spot. Uh, what spot should I clear? Well, um, yeah, okay. Now I just feel like let's just go in numerical order. Perhaps I'll feel differently for the next spot. What? Uh, 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 increase anything by one. And again. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like production. Ooh. Ooh. Tavern. Ooh. To increase that. Hmm. Maybe, right? Alternatively, we increase. No, wait. Oh. Oh, I'm looking. Only only look at these cards right now. Oh, although the general store is uh yeah. Okay. Try this. What do I like? Anything mm. right now production seems nice. Okay. Maybe maybe I prior prioritize. Oh, if I wanted, if I wanted something bad enough, that could be worth it. No, I seem to, I seem to definitely want this, so I will increase food by one. Oof. Okay. So. Um, so let's put the crafter doing a lot of building. That's eh, so good. Okay, maybe she, that's cleared. Maybe she can. Maybe she can can increase culture by one. Maybe 
I'm under the assumption that each character is going to have one with five, and maybe starting with the crafter when we come back, and these all can be increased. Okay. All right, so restock or sell. It's so early, I'm not selling. No, these are the ones I want in there. So restock. I will want to. I'll just throw that in there. Okay. Oh, and you're lined with villager. Oh. See, I can't just throw things in there willy nilly. Leather. Let's try leather. I, there's already a couple leathers. Let's do another. There's already a couple leathers. There's already a couple canvas. Yeah. Oh no, I'm wrong. There's one canvas and one. Okay, so one and one. Okay, let's do this then. Okay, so sorry. Move to gather materials. Oh look, these are all of the three, I mean two that are in there. Okay, so we're fine. So we're going to want keep canvas there. We want to move paper down two. So I'm gonna move this one down one as my action. I now am going to get my worker to, that's the one I want down, yeah, to go one more space to three, and no request to fulfill. I will want to get something in there, but right now I'm focusing on skills. So I think I'm going to hire next time. Okay, so this just goes back. Three, nice. And let's determine our weather. Cloudy. Ooh. Oh. Wow. I am so glad. I am so glad I cleared that land. Wow. Cloud, sun, cloud. There's a sun, cloud, sun, which is the opposite. Wow. The fishing grounds lets me. Oh, I get a sprite. <gasps> Ooh, I get a sprite die as well. Ooh. Obviously, I'm, I've been liking sprite dice. Two. Ah, uh, thanks for all the work you put in, farmer. We're starting to, to see some results. Okay. I wonder... What does this mean? Give up your actions in exchange... And a thing in exchange for. Which I guess makes sense. Instead of doing your character actions. And giving up a thing. Like these go down one. Uh, one of these goes down one. One of these goes up one. That's how I'm seeing it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hire sure you don't want to clear hire I just realized I went to that to clear land. I was supposed to have gone there that get that aligned me with sprites that could have gotten me. That window that I wanted, or see, I would say window, that paper that I wanted, so I should have gone there to clear that land. Sprites, so I could have put the paper in. Now I don't remember what I actually put in. So I'm just going to move on with my life. Yeah, so I am just going to hire one sprite. Uh, I'll just do these two, which takes this die, of course, and goes there. So I'm aligned with blue. So now I can do that restock. And of course, gather the materials that I just put in there. And the refining I need to do is to get the more experience. This one needs to be there. Okay, so now I'm able to get a skill. So next time you are going to have to go to Where's this going? That one, the longhouse. As for you, I want 
you to be able to put something in here so that when I can get to it to sell it, Uh, to get another request, uh, whoops, to get another request card. Desk is upon us, nothing to resolve. So let's move on to the next day. Sun, do we have sun cloud sun? Yes, we do. We actually have a sun cloud sun. And we're going to have to do an event. Just want to do grab an event card so I don't forget. Okay, so we have a sun cloud sun, and that is plus production by one. If we had sun sun sun, we would have minus production by one. So things worked out for us this time. Now, our event is card 49, which reads an awkward start. No one's heard anything from the swamp sprites for a while, so it's a surprise when a few of the mushroom-headed creatures are found skulking around the edge of town. The sprites greet approaching visitors. Thanks for coming to meet. How's town going? You're looking tall. They seem to be trying to make small talk despite their obvious awkwardness. Perhaps a campfire party would have been equally awkward. Despite that, the swamp sprites seem to appreciate you coming to meet them, and now they're eager to make friends, even though they're not very good at it. If one character skips their town action, gain a uh, culture. They may take the character action of their choice. What? Oh, oh, oh. I, 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 okay. I'm assuming that means skip the town action, but you can still do your character action. Right? Well, okay. Was there, oh, this should go. Was there any character action that I was especially looking forward to? Could clear. I have the money to clear, but then I could. I don't have any buildings anyway, so this building queue is not going to move up. Okay, so uh, fair enough. For my town action, instead of paying to increase culture, I'll just say increase culture. That seems fair enough. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I could be paying five, which is the cheapest you can pay to increase anything. Um, farmer, the farmer is five. The culture uh, for food was five. The, the the culture crafter culture is five, and I should assume the ranger one will be five, and the merchant the other one will also be five. Okay, so town action complete. Now what you're gonna do? Now restock or sell. I'm finally gonna do a sell action. So that means taking this one out of here and gaining the rewards. So instead of gaining a coin in action, in the first one there is no coins, but you get a request card, which has the potential for getting you coins in the future. So that's nice. Okay. So I do, of course, eventually need to get this going, but I also want to have that. So this is sold. So yeah, the materials. So I skipped town action. Uh, there is no other choice. I like to think that means don't worry about your alignment. Just choose. Let's just put more stuff. Whoops, more stuff in the bag. Gather. No, wait, what am I doing? There is no there is no gather materials. I have no, sorry. I sold. Sold, gather materials. There is nothing new. So, so now we can refine. 
Okay, so I want to keep two reds and a blue. So move this one, this one. Oh, I'm still going to need one. Okay, well, well, what? I can put that in there as well. Okay. Cool. Okay. I also could have, wait, could I have used this to for the second? Yes, I could have. Uh, had I hired a second? Oh, uh, that's okay. Okay. These, of course, are not done. So we're done. And our next day is moving buildings up, which we don't have any anyways. So we have cloud, sun, rain. Oh. Cloud, rain, sun. Okay, no buildings. I am thinking maybe maybe clear. Mm. Yeah. And actually go to the right spot this time to do it. Um, okay, so what do you want to clear? I don't know. We can go anywhere. Increase a sprite die by one. And when it's in the hand like that, a hired sprite die, as in what I have. So this is actually supposed to have gone there. So it's back at two. So that's all right. Okay, so I need it. Yeah. And I'm aligned in the right direction because this is aligned with sprite. Sprite gives me that which is needed there. And, well, then I have to, there's no skills to resolve, so gather the materials. There we go. Oh, and I want to get the skills. I want to get the skill because I have these in here for it. But anyways, so I'm going to refine. So I'm going to move this up by one. So that's one, two, three, four in there. And I want to need these two in level two. So that's gonna be there. And my next refinement, that'll be there. And then I can finish that one. Come back. I can almost fulfill my request. Not quite, not quite. I need one more to come up. Um, Okay, so that then I move on to the next day. Determine weather. Oh, oh, final weather card. Okay, so final weather card is okay. An event. Don't forget about that. So we have sun, rain, cloud. Uh, nope, no sun, rain, or cloud uh, in that order. So we grab a event card. And the event card is number six. Oh, this is the last of the quadrology. Uh, the uh, what's it say? When you have resolved events four to seven, shuffle an event eight. And this is the last of the four to seven. Here we go. The fairies. Fairies aren't as reclusive as other sprites because they can fly. They live high up amidst the treetops. Getting up there is going to take some special climbing equipment, equipment that must be built from scratch. As your group climbs, the fairies flit around laughing and encouraging you. By the time you reach the top, you expect to find the fairies impressed by your efforts, but instead they're nowhere to be seen. Decrease a not worker die by one. If uh, culture is your highest resource, it is not food is. Shuffle an event 50, otherwise shuffle an event 51. Done. Let's get to number uh, 51. Oh, and I happen to land on it right away. Okay, so shuffle in a 51. Oh, I'll do this. But also, when you resolve events 4 to 7, shuffle in 8. And 4 to 7 are done. So let's also put in 8. Okay. Okay. 
few events going on. Okay. And we stop at 47. Okay. Done. Now, we're done with those. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're done with. Okay. Now, what is our action? Like I said, I'm going for the skill. Someone else can build, put a building up. All right, so I'm going for a skill. A boom, skill. Okay, this was the one I was going for. One, two, Those were the correct numbers. Now, if I take an action, I don't know, I keep wanting to do that one, so I'll do that. And that just says alignment with whatever. Um, am I low on something? Maybe I should put something else in. Maybe, maybe put another one of these. So I'm not selling anything, so I'll, I, I will restock this one. And there, that goes in the bag now. So that's been restocked. And, oh look, there's a skill beside it. Restock something. Add one of anything. Uh, actually, I hadn't thought that through. Um, is this leather? Yeah. Paper. That's about to be, okay, that's about to be gone. Okay, so I'll just do that. So that's that's my skill, add in another one. Now, gather materials, uh, up to three. There's only two. Oh, I keep not moving this back. So we're fine. So what I'm doing is moving this up as my action. Now. Do want to get something through, right? So maybe I want to do this. Oh, this goes to zero. Oops. Just to get this on the track in the first place. I eventually want to get something here so I can have these resolved. Okay, so dusk. Now, fulfill requests. So I need two at level two and one at level one. This card is fulfilled. These just go back. Now I get two coins and whatever this level is at, hammer, everything's at five. Except this because it increased, but everything else, the hammer is at five. Okay, so we have seven coins now. Plus, a gather materials. I don't have anything in my bag. Draw a random material from the bag. There is nothing. I keep uh, drawing everything out of the bag. Okay, so this is completed, fulfilled, not yet used to increase our reputation which I hope eventually will happen. And like I said, that's the last weather card. So this session is done. Like I said, I do like the little bit of growth. The, you get some here, you get some there. It's nice. It's it's not some games you have this, everyone has godlike powers and they're all fighting against each other when everyone is super powerful. No one is super powerful. And this one's like, here you go. You, you want to play a game over several hours and several hours? Here's a nice game. This is nice. All right, so now we have no end of season uh, tiles. Uh, like nothing that says at the end of the season, be sure to do this. So we'll move on. Resolve a goal card. Hey, look at this. I indeed go on two adventures, but it only requires one there in terms of 
every player playing, each character must go on one adventure. That indeed happened. In fact, I did it twice. Ding, ding. Gain a skill for free. Oh, there's no sprites in place. So... I assume the sprites still have to be in play, though. So that's what I'm going to go with. Okay. <gasps> oh, I want more. I always want more refinement, right? That's what I've been doing this whole time. I want more refinement. Uh, I always go for those. Okay. Wow. Thanks, Mythwind. Um, shuffle in goal 11. Okay, so this is done. So goal uh, 10, 11. And it says shuffle. Shuffle in goal 11. Okay. And what do we. Okay, whatever. Where are we? Eight. Construct. Okay, so building for one to two players. Construct one building. Ooh, with a prerequisite. Ooh. I'll have to be sure to look at that. Okay. The weather deck will be reset. Okay, so I must have shuffled it on camera last time, because uh, why would I not? Okay, so shuffle the weather. That is our weather deck. As for our seasonal tile, this is what it's going to be. A lot of cloudiness. So this is just going to go where this currently is. Put that out. And there we go. Next step is change character if you want. And indeed, I will change the character. So I'm going to clean all this up and move on to, I think it's the Rangers next. I'm pretty sure the Rangers next. So thank you as I do this playthrough of Mythwind. Um, come join me next time. Have fun.